to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Hi, Sean Callahan here of HuskerOnline.com inviting you to join us here on 93.7 The Ticket every Saturday morning now in our new time. We're on from 8 to 9 with the weekly Husker Online radio show. We'll give you the latest in recruiting. We'll talk about what's going on with both football, basketball, and we'll probably share a few stories from the inside. It's every Saturday morning right here on 93.7 The Ticket. It's the Husker Online radio show from 8 to 9 a.m. This is 93.7 The Ticket. Look at me short. Look at me short. I'm the captain now. Three-time national champion for Sean Jackson. Touchdown for Sean Jackson. Number 34 gets the touchdown. Terrell Farley. Terrell Farley. Terrell Farley. Defending Terrell Farley. Who last week in his first start was a holy terror. Number 43. And Jake Bakovic. I popped a few cats. He said the bot got some game, man. Coming at you live from the Copple Chevrolet GMC Studios in the heart of Lincoln, America. On air and online at theticketfm.com. Powered by Bauer. Here he is, Vershawn Jackson. Welcome into the captain here on 93.7 The Ticket. I suppose I can do the... <laughs> Nah. <laughs> Even though they make fun of me when I do that because it doesn't sound Why? as good as Terrell's. Why? I think mine sounds more like a machine gun and Terrell's is like a drum roll. <laughs> so that, 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 yeah. that, There may be a thing to that. That's yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, <laughs> it's not my talent. I didn't bring it to air. It's hey, his. I no, just tried to mimic it. it it's Bach. It's okay. Um, have they had the official discussion with you? Have they had the, the all-important discussion with you? I'm not sure. Probably not. <laughs> okay. So, Bach, you, kind sir, spend a quality amount of time with two brothers. <laughs> That's right. Have they invited you to the cookout yet? <laughs> Is that... <laughs> like, have they had this conversation? Have you pondered whether whether Bach Box name is on the cookout card. <laughs> Have you? Is that a thing? Does that interest you at all? Well, I, I've been to cookouts before, I suppose. No, uh, no, 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 no. You've been, you've been to something else. <laughs> Have you? Have you been to the cookout? The cookout is what we're talking about, Box. Well, right. Like I, I, I have other brother friends, other black uh-huh. friends as well. Uh-huh. So I, I've, 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 I've ventured into the into those before. <laughs> Uh, so they invited you to their house for for, for the cookout. Yes, in fact, I'm, I was the designated. If the music gets too loud and the uh, and, and the cops show up, I'm the designated door guy. Right? Yeah, yeah, you right. you 100 <laughs> percent answer right, the yeah. door. See, that's how I know you've been to the cookout. <laughs> that's right. Because <laughs> you have duties that are assigned at that's the cookout, right, yes. and if you don't honor said 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 responsibilities, uh, your your card is pulled. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Your card is pulled. What did they have you bring to the cookout, Bach? Well, that's the problem is that I don't cook very well. So I, I think that I, 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 I'll be, be honest. I didn't bring a whole lot. I didn't bring anything. I brought you, myself. Did you, you didn't even bring sodas. You didn't bring chips. You didn't bring. No, no, I don't. Bach, uh, have I, they invited you back? <laughs> yeah, just a few times. Okay. <laughs> right. I think my friend group knows the expectation is that I'm not cooking. Yeah, no, 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 no. They're not going to let you cook. Right. Even if you think you can cook, they're not going to let you cook. <laughs> the idea is that they will let you ha- have you bring, you're the chips guy. Soda, yeah. Soda yeah, you're the chips. chips. <laughs> you're the chips and soda guy. It's like, oh, Box, box, yeah. box, box got the chips and soda. I should, as a joke, just bring some, like, unseasoned chicken sometime. <laughs> no, don't. Oh, no, 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 because that would be the last trip. That would be the last trip. Right. Yeah, they'd be like, no, 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 no. We got to block. You'll, you'll, you'll text him, and it'll just go unread. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm not a cook to begin with, but I hear the uh, the complaint is less, you know, not enough seasoning. Uh, oh, oh, 100%. You know, 100%. So. Especially, and then them allowing you to actually touch the grill. Oh, yeah. Which would be a whole other honor <laughs> onto itself. So, well done. Terrell has, brought, by the way, brought me in food before. He's a, he a very proud uh, grill uh, master. Uh, yeah. He calls himself two grills at one oh, time. Oh, one, oh, one, oh I, I am not surprised by that. Uh, whatever. Uh, 
Farley on the ones and twos. Yeah. <laughs> different temperatures, <laughs> different meat, vegetables on a different section. Yeah, that, that sounds no, perfectly R- Rashawn is just uh you know I, I think he can cook but he's he's outflanked by his brother so I think he knows he just kind of knows <laughs> yeah I mean look there, there's a hierarchy in yeah. the family you know who has cooking responsibility who has what responsibility um my my uncle was the grill master so mm-hmm. we would we would meet every Saturday Sunday at my grandmother's house and he would come from Maryland to Virginia and but he was the grill master mm. and you could go like there were discussions over the cut of meat like oh no you could get banished to the to the kitty table for for, <laughs> for, for, for bringing the wrong food up like, you know, oh yeah it's a big deal um and then you could go <laughs> Bach, baby, he would tell you temperature is everything young man <laughs> <laughs> don't get the temperature wrong mm. and I was like okay okay uncle all right, all right. And he would say, there's, there's order to this. And every grill master has an order. Cleaning time. Utensils. What do you use? What do you use to clean? Because it can't affect the seasons, right? Yeah. All the stuff. Bach, it, his prep time was 90 minutes. Mm. And then it was like watching an orchestra. Like he was just <laughs> a conductor. Like he was perfect drill. On time. Mm. Potato salad to the table. <laughs> <laughs> Get me vegetables. Beer. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. People like to add beer in. Oh, oh, spectacular. spectacular. Are you are you much of a cook for me? It's just you just mentioned like prep time and all it just to me, I'm just it, it's maybe it's not my age. It's you know, they're they're perfectly fine cooks among my age, but I'm 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 a my I'm a microwave guy. I want my food in like 30 seconds. I uh, no, see that's love. See, my <laughs> grandma my, I was raised this I know you weren't raised by a black grandmother. Yeah, well, that, that I can say is true. <laughs> yeah, she will because she would tell you that cooking is love, mm. and anybody that cooks for you loves you. And the amount of time and the effort that they put thought that they put into it is a statement of you, them to you. And so, and of course, I'm old enough that where where we didn't have microwaves, like you yeah, had to cook yeah. everything. He was, he was, <laughs> hey, hey, look, look, man, like we didn't even have George Foreman grill, bro. Like mm. it was like it was a thing. Um, so everything was a meal prepped, planned, set aside, time was set aside. There was an eating time. And because there were athletes in my family, my grandmother and my mother figured out how to eat, keep food warm. And there was a perfect temperature to keep food warm in the oven. Mm. For when you got, because I would get home later than the rest of the family. Oh, yeah. And it was there. And, oh, Family food feud, you want to brawl? Let me get, come home and find out this aluminum foil. <laughs> the aluminum foil is not sealed the way mom seals it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Right? Somebody like, got into it. Somebody got into your plate, <laughs> and we're going to have issues. So I, I cooked. Um, there were times in my life where I was the, I was the cook in the house. Mm. Um, but Becky's the cook in our family, in our house. Like, Becky loves to cook. She, Becky's amazing, low-key. Becky can put at work mm. um she's, she's good for a lot of black folks <laughs> <laughs> which is a sign that, okay we okay with it we're okay with you now she she's she she's a from scratch cook she she can put it together um and, and uh makes me think of her mom you know the late valerie k joiner so uh who who loved it and they were fine mm. they, like i some of my favorite moments with us is sitting in the house and having becky and her mom in the kitchen kind of doing their thing and the conversations that go on and sure. prep time. So I can cook. I just don't cook now. Yeah. Like I'm at, I'm, <laughs> I'm at the point you that I've got enough oars in the water now that I want what I want when I want it. Yeah. <laughs> right. I don't eat on time. I haven't had a typical lunch, like a 12 noon lunch. Yeah. I haven't done that. Just whenever you have time open. It's whenever you have time to eat. So yeah. it, it, I, I have mad respect for people who can eat on time. Mm. Like, oh, wow. Because I don't even, like, I don't like breakfast. I don't really either. You like eating when you get up? Or is it no, breakfast food? No. I, I like breakfast food. Like, if I yeah. can eat breakfast food for dinner, I'm cool. You're in. But I'm not hungry. It's the radio business scarred me. Because I would, well, one, being an athlete, you, like, they force you to eat. So that was the thing. And it was almost like, I'm tired, man. I don't really want to yeah. deal with this. But they're like, no, you need to fuel. Then once I 
left college, I was on air from 6 a.m. until 10 p- 10 a.m. And I didn't want the first thing, the food made me want to go to sleep. Yeah. So I was like, no, I'm just not going to eat. I'm just not going to eat till I'm hungry. And then, you know, people tell you, oh, that's intermittent fasting. Well, it wasn't on purpose. Right. It just was the thing. So like, even now, ideally, my first meal's at 2 o'clock. Mm. or somewhere in that window yeah and then a meal because a lot of nights i'm on air until seven so dinner 7 30 right and then you know fruit or you know yeah vegetables or something you know 9 30 to kind of just to seal the deal yeah but yeah yeah no no and it drives becky crazy because she eats on like becky wakes up hungry mm. like she like eyes open food like yeah. food, food, and then <laughs> like it drives her crazy because she eats on time, and I do not. So we 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 have we have issue with that. See, I'm like you. I just don't. I just don't, I'm just not hungry for the first few hours, probably that I'm awake, and then and then I'll and then I'll get into it. But uh, you know, it, it's and and by the way, when I say I can't cook, people can't like people look at you. I don't mean like I can't make spaghetti. Like there's like you know I can do some base level stuff, right? But I don't right. have any special recipes or. Uh, you know, if, if you get into like five or six step deeps, so I, I will. Use Mar- is is Maria a really good cook? Is oh, yeah, she, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. she can get yeah. it done, right? Yeah, that usually that usually is what helps the non-cooks is find a, a cook that can. That Isn't can, that a, can like, it's, it's just a, like I, it was weird because I cooked the women that I dated didn't cook. And it happened a long time. So Becky yeah. and I, Becky and I, I remember the first time when we got back together, she cooked. And immediately she started to clean. I'm like, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait, pause. Like <laughs> you cook. So I clean. Mm. Like, get out of my like it it's her kitchen before. It's my kitchen after. Like you cook. You did the work. Now go sit down. <laughs> I got this. Yeah. <laughs> and she looked at me like I was an alien. Like, what are you doing? I'm like, no, those rules. Like, if I cook, you clean. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like that's it's, it's pretty simple, but I'm fair. So yeah. Mm. Uh, by the way, uh, Gus Mohawk says Bach looks like he likes raisins and potato salad. I don't know how you look like that, but I guess that's what I look like. Uh, <sighs> but I don't like potato salad in general, so that's that's gonna be a no for me. Yeah, that's a hard that's a hard thing. I am a I am a, a picky potato salad guy. That I, I need Auntie to make the potato salad. I can't have, if you young, you can't make potato salad. No. <laughs> like, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. <laughs> like, even in my own family, in a black family, I'm walking up and going, okay, well, who made potato salad? I need to know. Mm. Like, this is an important thing. Like, I know who the grill master is, but I also, I need to know. Because, <laughs> listen, certain aunties, look, if you got res- First of all, somebody failed in communication. <laughs> like this is a last minute situation for somebody other than the queens, yeah, to make the potato salad. And I want, I did have have a girlfriend once who tried, and she showed up and like surprise. I was like, oh no, <laughs> oh Uh-oh. oh no, no, this isn't. Run, run! <laughs> this isn't gonna go well. This is, <laughs> and they looked. You know, everybody they're, they're around the table, like, hmm. yeah, what? <laughs> that's not gonna get touched uh, too much. No, 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 it was. It literally was untouched. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to learn. You got to learn. It's all good stuff, though. Also, a question, does uh, ketchup belong in a hot dog? I, I say absolutely. I'm, I am a ketchup fiend, so I do I <sighs> eat a lot of ketchup. Ketchup does not belong on a you hot dog. You don't think so? No, sir. Not a, not a, like a, no. not if you want to taste the hot dog. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. You, no. No, I know we can, if we bring up hot dogs, we're going to get no. you in trouble because no. I know we can bring up red hot dogs. Oh, I, I'll the, get in the, trouble. The I'll say it. No, right no. Now. <laughs> like, no for both of those. That's no right. for ketchup, uh, ketchup and no for red hot dogs. Mm. Some of it may be in a scarring because, so being poor, we ate our hot dogs with regular bread. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like mm-hmm. it was not a bun. We right. were balling when we got a hot dog bun. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> look, 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 look. When mom showed up with ha- with hamburger and hot dog buns, 
instead of home burger buns, which is white bread. <laughs> like, it was like, oh, rejoice. Like, throw confetti in the air. Like, we would march around the, the dining room because it was a big deal. Because if you put ketchup on the white bread, the bread turned red. And I was like, ah, no, <laughs> no, this is not cool. Like, this is not a good thing. So, no. Hmm. Red hot dogs and red bread because of hot dogs just sits with me. Maybe there's a psychology to it that I'm still dealing with. <laughs> like it's yeah. a thing. And I, and but I'm also in which will further get me in trouble. It, which is why I like my steaks not rare. Oh, okay. Like yeah, I don't want I don't want blood on the plate. I don't need that to feel yeah. like a Neanderthal. <laughs> like I don't need to feel like like I'm yeah, just yeah. biting into the animal and Chew just like, it. yeah like no I'm not that I'm just, I'm not you like it too. well done then I know I I know people it just bothers people oh yeah but I like my food cooked yeah <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. like I like it cooked is that cooked no no that's not cooked I eat yours how you want eat mm -hmm. yours hear me now people before you get all bent up bunched up. I'm not telling you how to eat yours. I'm telling you how I eat mine. <laughs> and mine, I want mine cooked the most. <laughs> mm. Like I want I want my wings extra cooked. Like I'll send back crispy. Like send keep it in, like however long you keep it in in deep fryer. Yeah. Give me 30 more. <laughs> like, give me 30 more he seconds. He had some food illness of, of, with other oh, yeah, food. Oh, yeah, I was a restaurant guy. Like, I, I, this sounds like but, also more problems but, from the past. No, bro. <laughs> listen, I'm a, I, like, I was a restaurant guy. Like, fine dining and sports bars. Mm. And I knew, hey, man, don't do it. Like, I would tell people, <laughs> like, we, I put a sign on the menu about the temperature for your hamburger. Listen, man. <laughs> You you want blood on your hamburger? Okay, okay, <laughs> but that's it. and you say it just okay. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. By the way, best hot dog I've ever had by uh, Petco's Park in San Diego. Oh, okay. Uh, it was a it was a hot dog off the grill wrapped in bacon. Oh yeah. Well, oh, can't go too wrong there. Oh, it was special. Uh, somebody asked, would you put a ketchup on a hot dog from Fenway? Have you been to Fenway Park? I've been to Fenway and no. Yeah. No. Just pretty much in general, you know, no. catch up on a hot Not dog. doing it. Yeah. Not doing it. Jeremy the grill master, a, a grill master himself, says never put ketchup on a hot dog. Thank so. you, kind sir. That's why <laughs> we're boys. That's why you're my dude. All right, let's take a quick break here on the captain. Uh we'll have sports talk and maybe more fruit talk coming up next year on 937 the ticket. Problem gambling affects millions of Americans daily, of all ages and walks of life. If your loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. Where will your path take you, traveler? To seek fortune in a new career? Or on a journey to distant lands for a well-deserved vacation? Wherever you go! One distraction could spell disaster. You can change your fate, adventurer. Don't drive distracted. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Wall-to-wall -wall wine and spirits is now open in Lincoln. Shop our expansive collection of wine, beer, spirits, and cigars at 5040 North 27th Street. From top shelf liquor to crowd favorite beer, Wall to Wall Wine and Spirits has a beverage for every taste and every budget. Plus, join our loyalty program to earn rewards and save on future purchases. Shop Wall to Wall Wine and Spirits at 5040 North 27th Street in Lincoln. That's 5040 North 27th Street. Ironhide Construction is higher. They're looking for hardworking, self motivated individuals who are team players. Ironhide Construction has openings for an experienced project manager, estimator, apprentice, skilled laborer, and a rector or installer. They will train the right people and make sure you understand the position and requirements. At Ironhide Construction, it's own it, be honest, and do it right. Apply today and learn more about their other benefits at ironhideconstruction.com. 
where they're committed to you every step of the way. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. The Lincoln forecast for today, we'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds and an afternoon high around 60. Tonight, clear skies and calm winds with a low around 30. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild weather. See an afternoon high around 64. I'm meteorologist Kyle Cluck for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Sick of being upsold at gyms? My guy, you're currently a base member? For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our Shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a swole member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. Looking for a job that feels like family? Join Lincoln Industries, where tradition meets innovation. They're a family-owned, privately held manufacturing company with a passion for excellence and a commitment to their community. They have openings on all shifts at both the main plant and air park facilities, offering flexibility to fit your schedule. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, there's a place for you there. At Lincoln Industries, they invest in their people's success, providing opportunities for growth and advancement. Apply now and become a part of something special at Lincoln Industries. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Not many businesses can say they've made it 60 years, but Madsen's Bowling and Billiards can With 12 bowling lanes in the biggest pool room in Nebraska, where else would you go to enjoy an afternoon or evening? There's a great daily specials like $2 Tuesdays, games of bowling, shoe rentals, draft beers, and tacos, all just $2 each. Have a delicious burger at EJ's Lounge before or after your bowling or pool session, and you'll leave satisfied. Madsen's Bowling and Billiards at 47th and Dutton. Hello. Hello. Believe it or not, old phones are one of the most common pain points in offices today. Many of these phones are beyond repair because parts aren't available to fix outdated devices. Whether it's a traditional phone system or cloud-based VOIP technology, Hamilton Business Phones can help upgrade your connection. We make it easy to sync your office phone with yourself for seamless call handling, no matter where you work. If your current office phone can't do this, you deserve better. Hire your local experts. Hire Hamilton at hamiltonisbusiness.com. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit. Update your info with LES, and if you encounter an outage, report it at LES.com slash report. The dangers of secondhand smoke are well known, but what about secondhand aerosol, which is created when using e-cigarettes? Science already shows a secondhand aerosol can contain nicotine, heavy metals, and cancer-causing agents. Eliminating exposure to secondhand aerosol is an important step to keeping everyone safe. Breathe easier knowing the facts. For help quitting, call the Nebraska Tobacco Quit Line. 1-800-QUIT-NOW. 1-800-784-8669. Paid for by Tobacco Free Nebraska. Aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Back with Vershawn Jackson. Powered by Bauer. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. We are back here on The Captain on 93.7 The Ticket. Just a reminder, Rashawn's plan on showing up here in about a half an hour where he will have a practice report. It'll be uh, uh, interesting today because I've heard rumors, according to Chris Raff's uh, uh, <laughs> sources, if you heard earlier, it's really Mitch Sherman tweet that maybe Dylan will hit the podium. So uh, we'll talk about that in a second. But also, Supernova's volleyball tonight. Of course, we got the man in the room that does the broadcasting for that DP. Uh, taking on the Columbus Fury, of course, this one at the CHI Center in Omaha. If you would like to go, we got uh, some four packs to give away. Uh, and, uh, and, and and if you can go, I mean, it, it's it's the day of. So if you can go, and even if you don't want a four pack, you can let me know too. Tell me two or three tickets. Uh, just text in 424-645-6685. And we will uh, randomly select a, a few to give away the four packs too. Again, if you don't need a four pack, it can be a two pack, but it's a game tonight at seven o'clock. Uh, the travel to Omaha, or if you're listening from Omaha, would be even less a travel for you. But it is definitely worth it. It is. It, it's exciting. It's empowering, and it's great 
action. Um, uh, you got a little preview for the Fear and Supernovas tonight, DP? Yeah, I mean, this one, I mean, so, of course, just back from San Diego and it didn't go the way the Supernovas wanted. It was, uh, it was, a, it was a gotcha game. It was absolutely a gotcha game. Um, they don't have the crowds that we have in Omaha. And there's no juice. Mm. And coaches talk about, you know, you have to, some nights you know you have to bring your own juice. Well, they brought oranges. They brought no squeeze. Mm. And had an opportunity to put it away and didn't. And let them. it's like, oh, you're letting them hang out. And we were si sitting the final sets on the San Diego side. And you could hear them kind of gaining, like, oh, this, this wait a minute, this, this could happen. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, they're not on their A game tonight, guys. Let's, let, let's get this one. Um, and so that's what it was. But every, every team in this league is really good. The same can be said for, for Columbus. And Columbus has the number one pick. They have the number one pick. And that number one pick is, I don't know, Asia O'Neal. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Asia O'Neal. And let me tell you, uh, there is no overhyping. Uh, we went to Columbus, and my goodness gracious. Oh, bona fide. Yeah. Bona fide. Um, and then they've got a, another force that Husker fans are familiar with because their middle block is pretty pretty incredible. It's Caitlin Horde. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, they are loaded. This is a loaded Columbus team. As a matter of fact, if I were a betting man, that I would say that Columbus probably ends up at third um, at season's end, which would put them in a in a matchup with Omaha. So they could have a, a, a playoffs preview tonight. Yeah, they're they're, they're that good. Um, everybody in the league is good. Columbus is the maybe the longest, most athletic, uh, aside from Atlanta. Atlanta's a freak show. Mm. Um, but Omaha figured out where I mean Omaha went down there and swept them, right? Atlanta came here and got even. Yeah. Um, so through all of it, right? It's it's a great one. Like this is a great one. Um, it's heroes night, so they'll honor military um superheroes and whatnot. So find your way there. Uh the tickets will be distributed to you electronically, so you do not have to come to the station to get the tickets. They'll be sent to your email. Yeah. Um, so uh yeah, if, if you want to go, I Again, we will start the pregame at five, I believe, six or seven. Six or seven. I have to look at it. I think it was seven, at least. Seven. Uh, and then, so pregame yeah. at pre-match at six. Um, you know, I'll probably pop on the last bit uh, of old school once we get all set up there. Uh, so if you want to do that. But, yeah, I would ask the question. This is where I would ask you. Um, for the first three people who say they want tickets, Bob, has anybody said they want the tickets? Well, OG uh, CJ says I already have my tickets for the cha playoffs and championship game. Yep. Um. So he's already no, it, covered. No, it's a it's a thing. Like yeah. I mean, it, the 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 cell started um yesterday Monday, and yeah, yeah, yeah coming <laughs> to Omaha. Yeah, it's gonna be a thing. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be a thing. But yeah, four two four six four five six eight five. If if you want to go again, it you could be a repeat goer. Obviously, you can't go enough. But if you've never been, it's quite an experience. Uh, and if you got time tonight, uh, you don't have to do anything more than text in 402-464-5685. I'll need your government name and your email. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> seriously. That's how we get you the yeah, tickets. And, and it's right away. Um, I see on the text line, uh, Gus goes, I've got family from the DMV area, and they love Scrapple. Does DP get down with Scrapple? All right, bot. Do you know Scrapple? Are you talking about the game? Like the, no, 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 no. I don't that's know what Scrabble. you're talking about. That's Scrabble, right? So that's yeah, Scrabble. Yeah, Scrabble. I don't know Scrapple. 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 So Scrapple is <laughs> uh, depending on the part of Virginia that you're from, they'll call it Scrapple. Some will call it liver mush. <laughs> I, I probably prefer Scrapple. I suppose. Right. Well, we didn't know what it was, and again, it, poor folk food mm. for sure. But a fantastic breakfast food. Um, comes in a block. It's pressed. It's compressed. Animal livers, parts, <laughs> parts. Yeah, <laughs> compressed, and it comes in a in a in a square, and you slice it. And depending on the level, what you love in in thickness. Uh, my grandmother dipped it in peppered flour, so she would slice it, flip it, flip it floured it, fry it. 
Yes. It was good. DP got down mm. with the scrapple. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got a, two, a few people texting in. We will uh, just wait till the end of this segment. I can send uh, those tickets over to you guys. So, uh, congratulations. You're going to a, a Supernova game. That'll be a lot of fun. Again, we still got some tickets available if you want to. 402 464 5685. Uh, just let us know again your name and email there. Um, DP, I, I think it's kind of interesting as we await uh, post practice today. Yeah. Again, Mitch Sherman kind of tweeted out a response to somebody who was saying that he was happy that uh, Dylan Raiola has been shielded from the media, so to speak, I suppose. And then uh, Mitch Sherman at Athletics said, well, you might want to tune out because after practice today, you might, might change that narrative. So, not necessarily for sure if it's going to happen, but if it does, would you. Are, are you on on board of of guarding Dylan from the media, so, or would so you want him to put who in front? Who said it though? Who said that they were happy that he was that he was guarded, or that he was being guarded? Let me look it up real quick. It was okay. it's not uh, media okay. members or anybody. It was just Mitch okay. Sherman replying to one of his uh, followers. Let me see here. Yeah, yeah. I would. I, I'm a member of the club, like this. I I, I believe transparency uh, connects. Like I, I, I'm a firm believer that, um, like I don't, I'm a fan. I would invite families, parents, and administrators to my practice. Why would I not want them to see how I build it, how the sausage gets made? Like I, I nothing to hide. Like I mean, yeah. look, I get that there are people to say, I don't want to hear about the labor. Just show me the baby. But I'm a member of the journey like the process and if people know what you put into it, right. Watching somebody cook rather than just showing up at the dinner table and having them throw a plate in front of you, they're not, it's not the same experience. So if you want me to engage and you want me to care about Nebraska football and you want me to, 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 to love the Huskers, the actual people who are Huskers, then introduce them to me. That's why we do the student athlete show. Those student athletes who do shows are way more known than the people who don't do shows. Mm -hmm. Like that's and here's the thing. You as fans, you want to know. Like I can I can speculate about the Bach experience, but it makes more sense for me to talk to Bach about the Bach experience. Why would I not want Dylan Raiola to say, hey, here's all the good things that are that's going on. Here's what I'm working on. Here's what um, I know here are the people around me. Here are some players that, you know what? I like throwing the ball to this guy. Hey, you know what? When, when coach and I talk, um, here's, here's the lesson I'm, I learned today. Why would you not want that? Like you're not going into the playbook. You're not, I, I think the media is wise enough to not ask, okay, give me your zone read right. <laughs> preferences. No, even, I mean, cause the zone read is known. It, it, it's got, it, it, it's reads like they're in order and they're the same for everybody. So getting into the X's and O's is really overvalued. What I need to know is how he processes in the zone read. How does his brain work? And to tell me that you have a quarterback that you don't want to be social, vocal, out front. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. put them out there. Like, wait a minute. There's nothing about football that a a real family member hasn't heard or had the conversation about. There's nothing a media person is going to ask that his dad and his uncle haven't discussed at dinner in the backyard at workouts. So why would they not want you to know that? Because it's good. When it's not good, people want to get in the bunker and, and hide when it's good and right. It deserves the light. Like that's mm. the, the, the whole point behind it is you want to know how a program is going. Tell me how vocal they are. Tell me how vocal they are. Quiet teams often. I mean, if you're in the back and we're talking about quiet, if you're doing your work, like if you just quiet because you are here working and you don't have time to be talking to me, Okay, cool. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about assigned to media responsibilities where they get an opportunity to resell the program because the program is rebranding right now. Oh, yeah. Like, it's yeah. it's rebranding. So do you have to sell it? 
Are the tickets all sold? Is it a sellout? Like, I, 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 that's a real question for me. Yeah. Is it all sold out? Because if it's all sold out and all the sponsorships are sold and you've achieved all of the NIL money, right? You right. have enough. <laughs> you have not only enough NIL money, but all the NIL money, yeah. right? Yeah. Because every time he talks, cha-ching, that's what happens. The ATM goes, somebody goes, oh, somebody pulls out a card or a checkbook and goes, yep, that's what we're, that's what, show me what I'm spending, what I'm investing in emotionally, financially, and time-wise. Mm. Show me. And if the young man is everything that we hope he is, the more we know and confirm that that's true, the more invested we'll become. Oh, psh. Yeah, man, here, take my money. Yeah. <laughs> take my money. Yeah, I want to hear the young man. Well, and I think especially in today's age, if you wanted to be quarterback number one, I mean, we can't hide. We can't act like he's not <laughs> making some pretty good money on, on all of this. I mean, so it's it's all just part of growing up. Um, You know, he's got the right leaders in place. But it, especially to me, if, you, if you're going to be quarterback number one or competing for quarterback number one, then you've got to somewhat be a vocal leader on the team and, and we'll see kind of how that plays out later with the single digit n numbers and captains and all that but at least uh, i would feel better if we're handing handing the, the 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 offense to a true freshman if he is in front of the podium if he can uh you know speak for his team so i think i think that that will be good if we do see that um i think maybe the hesitation is maybe kind of an older uh you know, it, it it wasn't that long ago, I suppose, that a lot of college programs across the nation, I'm sure some do still, um, won't let their freshmen speak until they have played type of thing. Um, but I'm look, I'm okay with whatever rule you have. It's your rule. Like I, again, I'm I can only speak to how I choose to do things in the, in situations mm -hmm. like that. But I, I've never coached at Nebraska, so I have no idea what the rules would be in dealing with folks. At Nebraska, the media here is different. Um, I, I think, I think they're smart. It's smart media. I, I think some of it's overdone, um, but I also think that there's too much fear involved. That we're not in the clicks business. I had to explain this to somebody the other day that we're not in the clicks business. Well, I'm not in the likes business. We're in the information and entertainment business. So the more information you provide, the more entertaining I can be. Mm. Like that's how literally, right. like that, 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 like that's all there is. Ask me to talk about this year's Husker football team. Well, we don't get to see them. So what are we talking about? But people want us to talk about it. So give us, give us what you want us to talk about. Uh, we'll digest it and then we'll put it out there. The young man is a dude. Let people know that. Now, if you want to protect him, do that. You have veterans who can talk. Yeah. But you got guys who have been here, let them talk. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see, I think, just because uh, of that tweet. And by the way, it was a response to Go Big Redcast, who was, who was kind of thinking that at first. But in any <sighs> case, it was uh, – it, it it's, a, it's a tweet that at least – I don't even know. It kind of puts pressure maybe on them yeah. to put Dylan out there. So we'll see. <laughs> Not yeah. sure. I'll be a little bit disappointed if we don't hear from Dylan, but also understanding, like you said, if they still have rules in place. Sure. All right, let's take a quick price break here on the captain on 93.7 The Ticket. Once again, a reminder, uh, the captain, Rashawn Jackson, will be in studio here in about 15 minutes to give his practice report. Uh, and we'll continue with more sports talk coming up next year on 93.7 The Ticket. The Omaha Supernovas are back in action this Thursday, April 4th versus the Columbus Fury at CHI Health Center in Omaha. The Mullen Motors pregame show with Darren Pearson and Renee Saunders starts at 6 p.m. with first serve at 7. Make sure to tune in to the next Ag Appraisal Realty postgame show right after the match ends. Catch all the action on your flagship station, 93.7 The Ticket, and statewide on the Supernovas Radio Network. Here you go. Coffee's on me and my new BFF. I thought I was your best friend forever. 
BFF like best financial friend at Members Own Credit Union. Right now, they're offering $100 when you consolidate or transfer a loan or an existing credit card balance and meet requirements. Plus, you get great rates and free advice from a financial partner that will put you first. That sounds like a match made in heaven. Members Own Credit Union is the type of bestie you can count on. Get started today at MembersOwnCU.org slash BFF. Limitations may apply. Equal housing opportunity. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Shopping for new flooring is different today. Getting your questions answered, making the right selection, getting the best value, and install quickly and professionally. Visit OStreetCarpet.com or shop our store. We'll answer all your questions and help you make the right choice. You'll be enjoying your new floor at just days for less than you'd pay elsewhere. Carpet, vinyl, wood, laminate, tile, and area rugs. We've got it all. Old Street Carpet. 1732 O Street. Family owned and operated. Always the best value. Iron High Construction is hiring. They're looking for hardworking, self-motivated individuals who are team players. Iron High Construction has openings for an experienced project manager, estimator, apprentice, skilled laborer, and a rector or installer. They will train the right people and make sure you understand the position and requirements. At Iron High Construction, it's own it, be honest, and do it right. Apply today and learn more about their other benefits at ironhideconstruction.com, where they're committed to you every step of the way. Not many businesses can say they've made it 60 years, but Madsen's Bowling and Billiards can. With 12 bowling lanes and the biggest pool room in Nebraska, where else would you go to enjoy an afternoon or evening? There's a great daily specials like $2 Tuesdays, games of bowling, shoe rentals, draft beers, and tacos, all just $2 each. Have a delicious burger at EJ's Lounge before or after your bowling or pool session, and you'll leave satisfied. Madsen's Bowling and Billiards at 47th and Dudley. Where will your path take you, traveler? To seek fortune in a new career? Or on a journey to distant lands for a well-deserved vacation? Wherever you go, one distraction could spell disaster. You can change your fate, adventurer. Don't drive distracted. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Put lawn irrigation on automatic. Think Judson Irrigation for worry-free service to Lincoln homeowners and business community. Judson Irrigation will turn on your sprinkler system in the spring, repair or redesign as needed, and turn it off in the fall. For service to orphan sprinklers, remember Judson Irrigation. They'll never forget you. Call the Judson Irrigation Orphanage, 402-420-6277 or judsonirrigation.com. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. The Lincoln forecast for today, we'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds and an afternoon high around 60. Tonight, clear skies and calm winds with a low around 30. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild weather with an afternoon high around 64. I'm meteorologist Kyle Clector for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Infrastructure, a veteran-owned local company proudly serving Lincoln, Lancaster County, and the surrounding areas. Bauer provides quality work at an affordable price, and they're growing rapidly. If you want to experience a career with a fast-paced, family-friendly environment, visit BauerInfrastructure.com. They have top-of-the-line benefits, year-round work, even through the winter. Bauer, usher in the new era of infrastructure to an area near you. And as always, go Big Red! Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. 
Start your electrical career today. Back with Vershawn Jackson, powered by Bauer, on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Welcome back into the captain here on 93.7 The Ticket, just a few minutes away from Vershawn coming in and giving his practice report here uh, on 93.7 The Ticket, so we'll look forward to that. Uh, I did want to ask you about this, DP, while we have you in the studio. Um, yesterday, Scott Frost article from CBS, yes. Dennis Dodd, uh, basically saying Scott Frost uh, wants the chance, dying to get the chance to get back into coaching, says he's older, wiser, and disappointing uh, from his tenure at Nebraska. And that was that's pretty much it. I pretty much covered the whole article. I, I, I read the article's headline and thought, oh, Scott, Frost, this is going to be great. I want to get some details. And really what you got was basically just that. There wasn't much more than that. Dennis Dodd did some talking about how uh, Frost, uh, writing, I should say, about how Frost's uh, tenure went at Nebraska and didn't necessarily put Nebraska in the greatest light. But it's hard to spin the Frost era as anything other than a massive disappointment, massive failure. Maybe there are there are more than just Frost to blame, but I thought it was just that was the only thought a part about the article that I thought was kind of odd was it was kind of like, all right, now Nebraska's you need to kind of look on yourself. And it's like, well, you could do that for like the Pelini tenure and you could argue whether they should have fired him, maybe kept him and they haven't gotten back. But the Frost tenure was just so God awful. And I, I don't mean that to say there weren't like good things that came out of it. But as far as like wins records at a place like Nebraska, win loss record, there's just no way to spin it. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> this is and, and this could send you down the well right this will send you down the rabbit hole but i would i would say this one do we know why it didn't work do we know what he thinks went wrong have we do we know what he would do differently do we do we accept and forgive or do you move along now in moving along you 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 are actually saying that what happened didn't matter right you don't need to learn from it but then that to me is the next question what did nebraska fans learn during the scott frost year would cuz to go through a thing like that 16 and 31 for the amount of hype and the amount of money that was invested mm -hmm. and all of the, 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 the carcasses that exist from it. What did you learn? And if you didn't learn anything and you didn't change anything, guess what? Whoops. All of that was for nothing. So Bach, do we like, is there an answer to <laughs> like, that's the, like, well, that's I think all those questions I was I thought was in this article was like yeah well what would he what you know what's he kind of think or reflect back and there just wasn't a whole lot of that um, I mean I think he came in you know I mean he, everybody can kind of give their own breakdown of, of what what went wrong and and um, you know I, I don't I think he was kind of arrogant about his offense and, and getting it working and not getting the right pieces and in, in evolved and all that stuff um, you know you can argue the Adrian Martinez marriage or whatever right away um, but. I, I, yeah, I was just, I was expecting a little bit more. I mean, I, I kind of anticipated that Scott, as young as he was, wasn't done with coaching. I mean, maybe he, maybe that was, but it was like this article. That's pretty much all it said was like, he's yeah, still he's, interested he's, in getting back into coaching, which what I assume. went wrong? Like, you can't tell me that the offense, the scheme that he brought doesn't work. Because as the article points out, there are some successful programs now that use the very same scheme. Mm. Now, it doesn't mean they were coached the same way or developed the same way or formed or managed the same way, but that's the part that people miss. The 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 layup is, oh, well, that, that scheme just wasn't going to work. No, wrong. Scheme would have worked fine if you had done all the other things that require for that system to work. Mm -hmm. And you never evaluate those things because it was always give him time. Always don't pay attention. Always give it a break. Always stay positive. Always be focused. No, no. I need to know what happened. Like I get at the lowest common denominator of sports, there are people who just score result. Did you win? Cool. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> or boo. Like, and I'm cool with that yeah. for those people. But for me, I need, like, I'm, wait a minute. What happened? How did you go 16 and 31 at Nebraska? 
did you did they give you everything? Did you have all the resources? Did you have enough money? This was pre NIL, so that wasn't an issue. Yeah, pre transfer portal, not the issue. So what went wrong? And again, even with the change in how business is being done, it's still the same operators and it's still the same vacuum. So what's different? What had to change? What did you expect to happen? What does Matt Rule bring? That's a whole show of what Matt Rule, what he should know, and then what he will do differently than previous coaches. And if I asked you right now, Bach, give me one thing that Matt Rule does differently than previous coaches at Nebraska. I'm not sure there's an answer. I'm not, I'm really not sure. Not after, after one year of, of close, you know, single digit losses, <laughs> it, it looked like an extension of, of the Scott Frost era. It looked a little <laughs> bit different because the offense was not near as good. The defense maybe was a little bit better than certain years. But, you know, it's also, that's it's a year one transition year of the Scott Frost team. So maybe it should look somewhat like a Scott Frost team because a majority of the players are from the Scott Frost team. But I feel like that, you know, I think a lot of people would just feel like what went wrong is like maybe leadership in, in the clutch or like, like because it was just so many close games. It wasn't that Nebraska just couldn't feel the team against Ohio State. I mean, there were there's always going to be a few games like that. But for the majority of times, Nebraska, you go back to that 2021 season when they're three and nine and they're all single digit losses. The only one that's not is to Ohio State. and It was less than 10 points. And you know that was the the super team of of all the all the superstar wide receivers in the NFL now, and so I mean it, it's it it's just it's it's interesting, and I just don't know how have you take to your point like have they taken a major step forward? Um, you want to believe so, but the the record the 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 the, the product looked similar. Like I, I and again, I I reiterate, I'm not here. To, I don't not here saying I have all the answers. I simply need to get the right question. Like, that's the thing. You know, Scott Frost is talking. I want to know why. And what what are they trying to accomplish? Yeah. Didn't appear to be much in that article. Nope. <laughs> but uh, it was a... Uh, t- and we talked about clickbait maybe earlier. That's a little bit of clickbait, at least for Husker Nation there, because gotcha. I, I definitely <laughs> click on it yeah. and was interested in what was going to be said. Uh, and, and at least for me, and I, I, I'm interested in people too, because when Trev left, it was like, well, who do we dislike more, Trev or Scott? And I... I just kind of think I don't really, I don't really dislike somebody because it didn't work out. I understand when you ask what went wrong, you'll have a bunch of rumors about from people what went wrong, uh, and so I think that that has led to some people not liking Scott Frost as much. But I don't think he came here with the mission to lose, with the mission to go sixteen and thirty-one. It just didn't work out. But in any case, uh, there were a lot of factors that played into that. Maybe we'll get into a little bit more of that. Again, Rashawn going to jump in studio with the practice report. We'll do that coming up next year on 93.7 The Ticket. If the week's been too hectic to even think about dinner or your family can't handle one more night of leftovers, then it's time to let Hogwild do the cooking. Hogwild's family packs are one heck of a good deal for a complete barbecue meal loaded with all the smoked meats, tasty sides, buns, and sauces you need to feed your family. Order online at GoHogWild.com. Hogwild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at 8. I see the future in our public school classrooms every day. I'm Jenny Benson, president of the Nebraska State Education Association. I also see how critically important parent and community support is to our students' success. Support your public schools. Get involved. Form a business school partnership or become a school volunteer. Great schools and great communities work hand in hand. Sponsored by the Nebraska State Education Association, aired by the Nebraska Broadcasters Association in this station. Hello. Hello. Believe it or not, old phones are one of the most common pain points in offices today. Many of these phones are beyond repair because parts aren't available to fix outdated devices. Whether it's a traditional phone system or cloud-based VOIP technology, Hamilton Business Phones can help upgrade your connection. We make it easy to sync your office phone with yourself for seamless call handling, no matter where you work. If your current office phone can't do this, you deserve better. Hire your local experts. Hire Hamilton at hamiltonisbusiness.com. Put lawn irrigation on automatic. Think Jetson Irrigation for worry-free service to Lincoln homeowners and business community. 
Judson Irrigation will turn on your sprinkler system in the spring, repair or redesign as needed, and turn it off in the fall. For service to orphan sprinklers, remember Judson Irrigation. They'll never forget you. Call the Judson Irrigation Orphanage, 402-420-6277 or judsonirrigation.com. Here you go. Coffee's on me and my new BFF. I thought I was your best friend forever. BFF like best financial friend at Members Own Credit Union. Right now, they're offering $100 when you consolidate or transfer a loan or an existing credit card balance and meet requirements. Plus, you get great rates and free advice from a financial partner that will put you first. That sounds like a match made in heaven. Members Own Credit Union is the type of bestie you can count on. Get started today at MembersOwnCU.org slash BFF. Limitations may apply. Equal housing opportunity. The Omaha Supernovas are back in action this Thursday, April 4th, versus the Columbus Fury at CHI Health Center in Omaha. The Mullen Motors pregame show with Derek Pearson and Renee Saunders starts at 6 p.m. with first serve at 7. Make sure to tune in to the next Ag Appraisal Realty postgame show right after the match ends. Catch all the action on your flagship station, 93.7 The Ticket, and statewide on the Supernovas Radio Network. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit. Update your info with LES. And if you encounter an outage, report it at LES.com slash report. Where will your path take you, traveler? To seek fortune in a new career? Or on a journey to distant lands for a well-deserved vacation? Wherever you go, one distraction could spell disaster. You can change your fate, adventurer. Don't drive distracted. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Empower a child today with the Teammates Mentoring Program. Hope is only a conversation away when you choose to share your talent, time, and heart with a child. Together, you can build a relationship based on strengths and chart a brighter future one week at a time. Find out how you can be a mentor by visiting LincolnTeammates.org. Become what you needed as a kid by joining the Teammates Mentoring Program today. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM Firth, 93.7 The Ticket. Whether you like fishing together or fishing to get away, for the thrill of reeling in a big one, or just going out to have a good time, on the banks of your local pond, at a bend in a river, or on one of our many lakes and reservoirs, you'll always find the perfect place to cast a line. Here, beneath Nebraska skies, Start planning your next fishing adventure today at letsfishnebraska.com. Sponsored by Nebraska Game and Parks, aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Shopping for new flooring is different today. Getting your questions answered, making the right selection, getting the best value, and install quickly and professionally. Visit OStreetCarpet.com or shop our store. We'll answer all your questions and help you make the right choice. You'll be enjoying your new floor at just days for less than you'd pay elsewhere. Carpet, vinyl, wood, laminate, tile, and area rugs. We've got it all. Old Street Carpet. 1732 O Street. Family owned and operated. Always the best value. This is 93.7 The Ticket. Look at me short. Look at me short. I'm the captain now. Three-time national champion, Vershawn Jackson. Touchdown! Vershawn Jackson, number 34, gets the touchdown. Terrell Farley, Terrell Farley, Terrell Farley! Defending Terrell Farley, who last week in his first start was a holy terror. Number 43, and Jake Bakovic. I talked a few cats. They said that Bob got some game, man. Coming at you live from the Copple Chevrolet GMC studios in the heart of Lincoln, America. On air and online at theticketfm.com. Powered by Bauer. Here he is, Vershawn Jackson. This is the captain here at 93.7 The Ticket. The captain himself, Vershawn Jackson, is walking into the studio. Uh, he doesn't know the code, so I'll have to let him in. And there we go. Easy as that. Rashawn jumping in the studio to have his practice report uh, here as we get things going. Of course, I'm Jake Bachman. He is DP. And Rashawn now in studio with us. I don't know if he can hear. No, nah, I got too much. I, I, right. I am now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Lots to report about. Lots. 
I'm not giving you much, but I'm going to give you lots to report about. <laughs> I, I, listen, man, I told you the doctor can slang that thing. The doctor was slanging that thing. Dan Kalen. I, I, those two quarterbacks impressed me. Even Heinrich Harburg impressed me. Made me feel like, wow, we, there's some progress happening. There's progress. There's there's progress happening. I don't like to. I, I'm trying to. DP, I, know I, I came in hot, but I'm trying to <sighs> say it without saying it. Listen, we grown. Okay. We're grown. Say what you want. Say what you say. Hey, man. Say what you say. Look. Hey, man. Say what you need to Look, say. Look, the doctor. <laughs> say what you say. The right? doctor's in the building, man. Yeah. It's like. I, I, I'm just going to tell y'all the doctor's in the building, and I think his mechanics, his decision-making, I think it helps. I, I like the the different teams because the, here's what – at first I was confused because I was trying to find guys, and who the heck is 32, who is 33, who is 12? You, you, because it's, they're all over the place, so yeah, they're yeah. on different teams. But it breeds competition. I'm waiting to see – now, they've got a scrimmage Saturday, I believe. That a bunch of former players are invited to will but will be there together. Huh? I want to see what they look like when you they put it all together. Quarterback wise, I was impressed. Okay. Running backs, your top two guys, dudes. Who are the top two dudes? Uh Robinson or, or uh, uh um Johnson? Johnson, Johnson, Emmett Johnson, and and my man from uh the natural born leader from Oregon. Natural born leader. What's Dante his name? Dowdell. Dante Dowdell. Hmm. Natural them, them two dudes. Hmm. Them are two dudes. Okay. Like, like I said before, when you think we backs, yeah. they have an opportunity to be the we backs because you can't. I don't think you can post them both on the bench. You're gonna have to play with both of them. Okay. They both have that ability to make plays, make people miss, and then hit the X button and get down the field. Okay. Um. You know when I when I when, and I'll stay offensive side of the ball when I see the receivers. Um, I see development. And I see a young group of guys that have to go put a little bit more work in as far as catching the ball. So, so what receivers are you talking about? Uh, specifically, I'm not going to name specifics. Mm. I'm saying in in general, for me, when you know when you drop balls and, and and do things like that, when if a quarterback puts a ball on the number mm. and you drop it. Ugh. Uh, uh. multiple times. If it's an 18 yard comeback <laughs> and the quarterback, our quarterback, Nebraska quarterback, drops a dime on a comeback and you drop it, that's a problem. Yeah. So we've got to in the receivers' room, and I'm just speaking on in the receivers' room, we've got to 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 make up more of an effort to make sure we're catching and, and everything. The the rule of that is well, it's in the job description. Yeah, catch the ball. <laughs> it's in the job. <laughs> like, listen. Otherwise, you're a tight end. You're blocking tight end. Yeah. So if you can't catch the ball, I mean, you talk about, you know, no block, no rock. Well, you can't catch, you can't play. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't catch, you can't play. Like, you know, like there's no rhyme for it. Yeah. You can't play. Yeah. <laughs> Period. Period. Um, yeah, you I'll... can't catch, sit, sit back. <laughs> so did they, have the, did they have the three different, like the Rattlesnake boys and the yeah. Little Knights? Yeah, yeah, Can you yeah, tell yeah. by jerseys or how would no, how no, no, you tell? No, 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 you couldn't. You couldn't tell. No, that, defense yeah. was one yeah. color, offense was one color, and they were all mixed. In, in, but mm. but they're in different places. So you had people in the indoor you had people right there, and you had people on the far field. Mm. You know, and then you had the different quarterbacks were mixed in with the different running backs. I think it's great because it really breeds competition. Because I was trying to see, well, wait, who's the starting defense? Well, they're mixed in matched. Yeah. yeah. So you don't necessarily know what's what. So there's no there's no winning of a job now in the spring. There's no, there's only, this, this is only getting you in the conversation. There you go. Pole position. Making you, <laughs> no, it's, it should be making you compete. That, well, that's what it should be doing. Okay, so let me let me let me let me let me get this little thing off my back. Get it, it off. Bothers me. Get it off. That bothers me. Uh, if you get a helmet at the University of Nebraska, competing is the last thing we should worry about. No, nah, that's the first look, thing look, you should look, worry about. Look, like, listen to me, man. I, I get I look, get what look, you're saying, look, DP. Me. Look, look. That's you, not it, though. No, hey, that's bro, not it. We we listen. 
this is football. This, this is not tennis. This is not you out here by yourself. You, th- th- this is compact. This is this is a comp- this is a competition sport. This is you can't play for Nebraska if you if competing is an option. Competing has to be the first thing all the time, bro. I, I agree, DP. But if you don't necessarily know how to kick it to another level. Why right. are you kicking at another level at Nebraska? You, it's just the level. We know the players. I ran into Mike Minner. Mike Minner was in. Yeah. Town. Okay. Mike Minner. He's gonna come on the show tomorrow. Uh, Mike Minner, ladies I, and gentlemen, ten o'clock. Gonna, how am I gonna miss Mike? Mike, me and Mike do from Carolina. How am I gonna not gonna be here? <laughs> you ain't gonna be here tomorrow. No, I'm going to DC tomorrow. Right, well, maybe I'll call him today and see where he's at. The practice. Come on, Minner. Come on, bro. Maybe bruh. I'll call him. Maybe I'll come call on, him. Come on, Minner. <laughs> oh man. You know what? Because let me tell you. His first interview in Charlotte, in Char- I was his first interview in Charlotte. What? He as a tell, rookie. As a he didn't tell me that. Yeah, as his first He don't know I'm here. He don't? No. Oh, I got to call him. Yeah. We'll call him on a break. Yeah. Look, that, that is funny. The Carolina Blitz. Yeah, I, see, I see Mint. And, and, and listen, I get it. Everybody's- old, old, old swole self. Just walking around yeah, like he's ready yeah, to hit somebody. Yeah, you know, <laughs> he swole with a little, little extra. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. And so it's so funny because, you know, I kind of, I don't know. I, I guess I'm losing weight. I mean, I'm, I'm 215. You slim? I'm slim. I, I feel good at this weight. You slim. Um, I haven't been this way in high school, but my mother used to say out to me and my brother all the time, especially to me, because when I got to Nebraska, I had to put on Yeah, weight. you had thick. I didn't have no choice. Yeah, you had thick. You, so, my mom would say, you had to have lead in your pencil. There you go. <laughs> so, so I had to go from 215 to 245 mm-hmm. in order to even have a sniff of chance to play, because at 215, you the same weight as as Lawrence Phillips, a running back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But but I you know you see I saw Mike and, 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 and we we talked to each other and it was just it was amazing how we, how how quickly we clicked. Mm-hmm. Um. He's gonna be here tomorrow at ten o'clock. I'm gonna call him. Yeah. See if we can't get him over here today. Yeah, just have him for come old in. school. Yeah. Have him come on. Have him, well, I won't be. I'll be in Omaha. Oh, the game's tonight. Yeah. I'm. We're leaving it for. We're leaving for. Okay. We'll call him right after yeah. the show. Yeah. But 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 just to, let me just get back to my, my report. Yeah. So offensive line, uh it's hard to tell. Okay. Okay. I thought we 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 did well, but it's hard to tell because guys are all over the place. You don't know. Yeah. You know, I'll see one guy, I see Prohaska over here, and then you got uh uh, uh Bryce over here. You got, they're not together. Got it. Right? So I and I like that because right now it's more focused on individual lies. What you're supposed to do. Do you know what you're doing? And can you get it done against multiple oppositions? Mm -hmm. The good guys, the bad guys, and all the dudes in between. Can you handle your business? So in that, I thought, I thought it was, I I, I thought it was a 50-50 practice today. As far as what I saw. Detail that for me, 50-50. Well, you know, a lot of times defense dominates spring. Yeah. Right? Um, 50-50 50-50 to me means you might have had a couple picks, but you also had a couple touchdowns. Yeah. You know, Heinrich Harburg, say what you want. Obviously, the coaching is helping him because homeboy threw a couple strikes for him. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So okay. I, I just like, okay. I like the feel of practice. I like how it went. I like the flow. Um, I think they got they, they, they have to turn it up another notch or two meaning turn the intensity up at practice right like like we've been around for five years watching this buck right mm-hmm. it seems like we're a cadillac right we just kind of you know you got cadillacs with north star motors in them yeah. that got a little oomph you got cadillacs with v12s but it just seemed like we just a pretty sedan deville 1998 model like grandpa used to drive yeah. and we just cruising Oops. we're cruising there's there to me you have to have a level of intensity I'm so, I'm so stupid because in my mind for spring practice I need John track I need John Deere I, I I need the big boys to move stuff yeah like I need I need to understand that the earth will shake the ground will open up and everything in its path gets clear yeah that's what, I, look, man, we can talk about all the divas, and I'm a diva at heart. 
I'm a diva at heart. I'm a dancer, prancer. You know what? Give me the ball <laughs> in space. Let me break your heart. Right. Right. Let, right. Uh, let, let's get it. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna be where you wherever you not. Right. But I also understand that for this program, in this conference, mm. what's required is earth shaking. Yes. Groundbreaking. Yes. Whole creating. I'm taking you back to your girlfriend, and is she leaving with me? Big boy play. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Like that's what. Like I, listen, man. I listen. I when we see you, I know you think we're from the same place, but we built different. Mm. And I need to move you in order for my elite gunslinger back here to do his thing, and for them, them shakers and breakers behind you. I need the big boys to. Just crush people. Yeah. Like that. Tell me that it's gonna get better by telling me, listen, I Ryola can, can can hit a dart on a deer with a tick. It's pretty good. Right? But what I need to know is are his feet safe? Mm. Is are his feet comfortable? Mm. Can that man use his hips? Or does he have to use his hip? No, no, no. no. I need to know. He right? can use him. No, 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 no. I don't want him to have to dance. You don't. I want Dylan Ryle to be up. You know what? Brady Statue West, let me plant that back foot, get to my front foot, he and deliver. Some give hats. him that maybe three times right? out, of, out of a six play series, right. but he's going to have to dance every now and then. Every now and then. And, and I like is. his. I, I'm not saying dance and run. Oh. I'm saying <clears> every, step, now, every now pocket. and then. I, I get every now and then. And now then, because 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 he got that dog in him, and I understand. And I saw him, and I saw him down there. I saw him move. I'm cool with that. I don't want it to be his first thought. I don't want it to be his first concern. Yeah. I don't want. I want him to trust. I didn't see that. True. Well, I, I look, didn't see that. What look, I saw was a was a young man that looked extremely mature in the pocket. What color all them shirts he faced? That that the same color. What you mean? I what I want to know is. Look, if we can't move us, we just say, if you, you can't beat your brother at home, I'm not letting you go out the neighborhood. I like, like some dudes that don't like you as much as we do. I, like, we <laughs> like I said, I thought we I thought offensively, I say we because I'm an offensive guy. I thought I thought they looked as good as as, as I expected. I mean, as far as it's spring, right? And they're not playing uh, uh all of their number ones together, all of their number twos together, all of their number threes, it's kind of mix and matched. Now I can see what it is but i want to see ones against ones right good on good i'm hoping on saturday yeah. Yeah. it's one on ones two against twos good on good all out go yeah right because we're protecting of course you yeah. don't want nobody to get hurt right but at the same time if you don't if you don't tackle the ball well now yeah you're not gonna tackle the ball well later right i mean I again same shirt versus different shirt listen if i can't run up and bump you i don't need to thump you but I need to run bump. No, you need to and run up and thump me. I, I need to go. Well, here's the thing. Now, I know run up and bump. See, that's the difference. We ran up and thumped. Like, like, look, dog, you better put your chin strap. Like, all that mouthpieces uh, 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 hanging uh, at practice. No, no, this is spring. I don't care. Okay, so you t- oh, so this, this, here's the question. In your era, mm-hmm. was were you putting bodies to the ground yes. in spring? Okay, that's absolutely. What, that, that's what. Okay, I'm with that program. Yes, sir. I can get with that. Yes, I can get with that. I, I'm just not sure, and I could be wrong. So, mm-hmm. I'm just not sure that the bodies that currently inhabit the program have the culture and the history of being built up so that they could take pre- spring to the ground football. I'm not sure the bodies are ready. They might. They, you know what? The only how your bodies get ready is to get in the fire. I, 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 just get there. Go with me here that in recent history, we watch bodies go to the floor in spring. Bodies get injured in spring that hurt the season. Mm. And as much as, because y'all had, y'all were five deep everywhere. Nobody got hurt. Every Hey, listen, y'all were, you hear me now? Y'all were five deep. And when it's five dogs fighting, it's five dogs fighting. You say five deep, but we wasn't technically five deep. When you when you first got here, yeah. you weren't 
I you, wasn't even on the map. You hear me? You hear me? I was like 18. You, you, you arrived as a dog. You arrived, you arrived, you were cut, carved, steeled out before you got here. You adjusted because you could. You had talent and you were already built for True. it. True. Right. I'm not sure that tight end number four, five, and six are built for full-on spring engagement. Gotcha. Now, they might be. They gotcha. might be. I, again, I see what you're saying. I, again, they Makes might sense. be. They might be. But steel sharpens steel, iron sharpens iron. What if it's iron and something else? Clay. <laughs> it's something else, which maybe four months from now, it looks like iron because you got to build it up, right? And the difference between freshman 215 and sophomore 230 <laughs> is a, a, that's exceptional difference. Big time. So, fine, new, new, new strength coach. There are a lot of folks over there that just got here. He just got them. They may not be cut for it yet. I'm not, again, they might be. Let, let, let me say something. Yeah. I think, I, I know, I know, I, 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 let me just say it. Yep. It would be nice, and I don't know what the rules are. Mm -hmm. The rules of engagement, the rules of practice, right? But mm -hmm. I don't know what the rules are, but it would be nice. Like, like if, Again, I'm not saying that we're the savior. I'm just saying that we know how to practice against one another. Same thing DP is talking about, okay? When he says, hey, they're all wearing the same color. Guess what? When we were wearing the same color, it was worse than playing a different color at practice. Yeah, I mean, I've heard, I've heard that crew say that what made them elite and allowed them to step up to the next level is that practices were harder than the games. Of course. And if that is true, and again, you don't, I'm not sure you win games in September. I mean, in, in March. You don't. You, I, you don't win games you, you, in March. You do something. April. You do something. You find out who the guys are you're going to go to war with in March and April. Well, one, I need to find out what I have. In, in April, because I can still make some changes, right? I can still go get a, like, oh, well, I don't really have a 1B receiver that's ready, ready. I don't have the tight ends that I need. I don't have the lines that, whatever those things are. Now is the time to find out that, wait a minute, this dude is not putting in the work. This dude isn't in the playbook. He's not in film study. That's a thing. Or, yeah. you know what? He's having academic issues. Oh, you know what? He having personal issues that is leaning on him right now. Mm -hmm. That's what spring was for me. I Again, I can't speak for what it is for, for Matt Rule. I don't know what his philosophy is. I'd love to, again, and it's another sit down that I would love to ask, okay, walk us through what each of these things is about for you, for, for you Coach Matt Rule, because then it helps us understand it, it removes one of his answers mm -hmm. removes 20 questions and the ability to have that conversation in full, not that press click, hey, fall in line, robotic. Right. No. To know what spring practice, what are the focuses for you when, because the focus for offensive linemen is different than it is for tight ends, which is different from receivers. While they are all connected, they all have different leaders and different rooms and different depth. They all have different needs, right? Coach Osborne at one point said, I have a void or at least a, a, a need in the tight end room. And I've got this fullback that, that I could use over here. Mm -hmm. And it won't kill my depth at, fullback. at fullback. Mm -hmm but it'll make us in full at tight end. So he mm. makes the decision, and he I guarantee you he made that decision in the spring, not in fall. No, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Well, <laughs> right. Going into, so 93, 94, I was fullback. I mean, I didn't do spring in 93, so I came in in August. 94, so I would have I did 93, 94 spring. 95, I was a full out tight end, period. That was me. That's your position now. Like it or love it. Yeah. Period. Hey, Jalen Lloyd, 
I think he's gonna have a breakout year. That dude. Let's hope. It, well, he's he, he catching the ball better than I, than he did last year. Let let me let me let me say. Text line says maybe we just let them do their thing and we could ask them later. This is. Well, do you not understand what sports <laughs> talk radio is about? <laughs> You over there thinking. That's exactly what we want you to do. We're over here thinking. We're thinking. (laughs) (laughs) Why y'all messing with me? (laughs) On a Thursday. You know, you know that Jesus loved me. Stop it. (laughs) Practice report. Yeah. (laughs) Woo. O Street. We here. Mike Minner be here tomorrow. Hopefully, Terrell will be back in the building so you can see his black shirt, buddy. But uh, the practice report, we'll have more. 93.7 <laughs> The Ticket with DP and Bob. <laughs>
The playoff race is heating up and the Lincoln Stars are pushing for their third consecutive postseason berth this spring. Join us at the Icebox as the Stars host the Sioux City Musketeers at 7.05 p.m. on Friday and the Omaha Lancers at 6.05 on Saturday. Friday is FFA and Ag Night, and Saturday is Billet Appreciation Night. Lock in your seats for all the fights, checks, and goals now at LincolnStars.com. Not many businesses can say they've made it 60 years, but Madsen's Bowling and Billiards can. With 12 bowling lanes in the biggest pool room in Nebraska, where else would you go to enjoy an afternoon or evening? There's a great daily specials like $2 Tuesdays, games of bowling, shoe rentals, Draft beers and tacos, all just $2 each. Have a delicious burger at EJ's Lounge before or after your bowling or pool session, and you'll leave satisfied. Madsen's Bowling and Billiards at 47th and Dudley. Hey, Husker Nation. Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska's always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. Old school with DP and J. So I knew that it was a crapshoot with the grown-up professional at the highest level. Who's going to bet? I don't know whether the starting center's girlfriend broke up with him, whether his parents have, have groceries that week. I don't know whether his roommate and him had a fight. So why would I, one, why would I want to bet on that? Uh, 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Back with Vershawn Jackson, powered by Bauer. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, man, baby. Yeah, yeah. I need my, uh, my Uncle Charlie cowboy hat and cowboy uh, boots. Yeah. Uh, see, they don't uh, know. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. Man, this is, this is what I grew up on. You come into our house, this is what you're going to hear. This is right. Oh, look at DP. He looks like you got that. Oh, oh, they don't know? Hey, me and DP in here. It's a dance off, oh, baby. We can yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 uh. That's what we do up in here at 93.7, the ticket style. We get, we freestyle that thing sometimes. We feel the music. And we got energy, and so we just want the same type of energy out of our Nebraska corn huskers. Um, Listen, you, you see, you see my wife in the window. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. Look, truth be told, say, that's why she married me. Right. <laughs> she, hey, hey, she was stuck too. I see her looking like there he goes. That's what I like. Go ahead. <laughs> she was like, "Oh, I remember Ooh. that dude." <laughs> oh, okay. So just get back to the practice report. I think the receivers. I think we'll be fine at receiver. Um. Offensive line will be fine. I don't know. I, I wasn't there for a special team, so I can't tell you that. Defensively, uh huh. It's gonna start with the D line. I mean, Nash looked great. Nash look. He looked. Of course, he's great. Like I think he should stay right there. Yeah. And just be fast. Yeah. Be strong. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Zero. I, I thought the defensive ends. You know, when you talked about uh, Chief Borders. Yeah. Chief Borders. Look, look like, like, look like it, right? Chief Borders. <laughs> yeah, look out for Chief Borders. Now, like now, it. here's what I say, because I'm always looking at observations, right? Uh -huh. Because now, before, what did I complain about all last year about the defensive back? You remember, Bob? What did I complain I'm about? Not getting turnovers? No, the mouthpiece hanging. Oh, yeah, well, that, yeah. That's the last couple of years. Bruh, you're never going to fight in a boxing match without a mouthpiece. They'll stop them. Hey, whoop, whoop, let's get the mouthpiece back in. Why? So here's the thing. One, it, it, it is the concussive part of it. And Thank you. Understand that it has a purpose. It's not yes. just optics. It, is, it has a, a health benefit, a natural health benefit, yes. benefit to, to having your mouth closed, con, you know, set up that way. But here's the thing. We always paid attention to it as an indicator of conditioning. Mm. Because you take it out because you can't breathe. 
Okay, got a point. There that that now. that was so the 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 debate in the in the in the bark over. So I'm old enough to have had the full on mouthpiece. Yeah. Where you bit it from both sides and it covered literally everything. It covered your whole mouth. Right. And that was the thing. And then they adapted it and put breathing spots in it so that you could bite down on it and still breathe through it. Then they figured out, oh my goodness, the single, if we single bar, you could still bite down without the full compact and you can lower your jaw so that you could take in more air if that was what was acquired. And then if you reached a point where the condition where you were running drills and the mouthpiece fell out, that was a sign to me as a coach, not only as a player, like if I'm in the huddle and the dude's got his mouthpiece out, I'm, I, I got questioned. Yeah. I got questioned. Now, if you're just doing it in the huddle to talk and communicate, okay, that's different than you having it out and not saying nothing with your hands to your knees and we should only be the quarterback like you having conversations to yourself well there there are times in alignment okay did i miss a thing did you know did i miss a a a read was i in the wrong place me tapping like i you know i ran behind two nfl dudes in high school and their iq one their massive size got them to the league but it was their iq Mm. their their football iq even at that level we were able to communicate hey this is what we called but this is what we see and i'm like d man, I'm going to lean, just get on my outside hip. I'll make sure my outside hip is available to you on this one. Mm-hmm. When that wasn't necessarily the, the thing I should be looking for, he's saying, okay, this guy's cheating. So if he's cheating, I can leverage him inside, just hit the corner off of, off of it. Okay, let's go, Blados. Like, yeah, I'm cool. Oxygen 9 telling you, hey, listen, he's making me hit him with a flat back just so I can get up under him. Give me another split second to turn. Okay. Quarterback, listen. They're running zone. They're running a zone here. I'm going to sit short in the zone, not long in the zone. Again, people, there are little things that get missed. If I tell the quarterback, deep safety zone, I'm going to sit early. I'm not going to climb to him and then sit because then I got to compete for the ball. Mm -hmm. But if I compete in space... Well, then his read is the the under linebacker, and then to make sure that the, that linebacker can't step into the short zone. Those are communications. The mouthpiece isn't necessarily required for that. Mm-hmm. But if it's dangling, especially on defense, it tells me, oh, my goodness, y'all are tired or you're not able to communicate. It's either or. It's never – it's either or. Well, and the psychological, the, the, the psychological game in wearing a mouthpiece is if I got my mouthpiece in, I'm going to hit you a lot harder than I will without one. Well, as a receiver, if, if I if I come out in t- to my spot and Rashawn is covering me and he's got his mouthpiece out, first of all, he's either panicked and telling them, hey, man, I need some help. Right. <laughs> or he's telling me he's tired. And I'm looking at the quarterback and he know I'm looking at this dude with his mouthpiece out. Oh, well, let's stretch this dude out a little bit. Even if I'm not going to get the ball on this play, I'm going to take this dude vert. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run him on vert. Like, listen, bro, I'm built for this. So let's run about four 40s. Mm. (laughs) And then when you really tired, then I'm going to run that comeback, and then you're going to come up tired, and I'm going to stiff arm you to to, to your girlfriend's house. Strike up the band. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, strike the band yeah, yeah, up like, now. You know, like I said, how we want to do it. Like, uh, here's the deal. I'm going to catch it, then we dance. Yeah. So the, 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 when I think of defense, right, because we're talking uniforms, we're talking mouthpieces hanging. Mm-hmm. So so I, I played in NFL Europe, and I played running back, okay? Because when you, when you get to the NFL, a six-foot, 240-pound tight end don't work no more. Amen. That's over with. Amen. Yeah, that's over. Amen. All right, right? So I go overseas. I have my best game. I, I, Kansas City sent me overseas my second year after getting hurt. And I go over there. I have my best game. I have 10 carries, 70 yards, 70 yards. Is that Frankfurt yards. or Ryan? No, uh, Berlin. Berlin. Okay. We were playing Ryan. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Uh, I have my best game. After the game, I'm sitting there. I'm eating. And we're in Düsseldorf, and I'm eating, and I'm like, oh, hey. I'm hollering the train. I'm catching the cramp. Catching the cramp. It got tight on me. Well, it kept getting tight. It didn't stop. And I had a thigh contusion, right? Because I wanted to look cute 
mm-hmm. and we're and be like those the the receivers and defensive backs who never get hit. I put itty bitty plastic shields for my thigh covering. Okay, instead of having the big Earl Campbell bulky yep. protect my thighs. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, and it derailed my career mm-hmm. that was the last injury of my career cue to get your beat bro because i did not <laughs> wear the proper uniform the cue to get you it look cue to get your beat here's what i'm telling you so you <laughs> you get some defenders that's playing defensive end right and my my legs are ashy and i wish you can see it right yeah. but you might be able to see it on the stream a little bit yeah. but you get these guys and their defensive ends and they've got they and they got they 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 looking real cute out there, right? Yep. You see that bar? Mm-hmm. They got they they got their tights pulled up over the top of their knees with no knee covering whatsoever. Yeah. If I'm a tight end, oh hey man. You know what I'm thinking. Hey man. You know no, what I'm me, thinking. Are you familiar with the name Jerry Smith? Do you know no, the name? Not necessarily. Okay. So Jerry Smith was a two hundred and seventeen seven pound tight end for the Washington Redskins, 207 pounds. Now, he was the first elite pass-catching tight end in the NFL. Sonny Jurgensen, matter of fact, he led tight ends in touchdowns and passes received when he retired. He led the entire league. But what he was really known for in that dirty NFC East mm, was off. the crack back. Ooh, even and worse. Jerry Smith was violent, bro. So much so that the league said, we got to stop this because this dude is hurting people right? <laughs> at 207 pounds, getting a step in. Ready for this, Rashawn? Mm. A step and a half beyond the defensive end. Oh, and then wait on it. And then, hello, ear, Christmas. Ear plug. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> but my thing is, if I see a defensive back, a defensive end, he come out with his knees exposed, baby. I'm gonna make him think I'm on stony, and I'm gonna tear his knees completely off yep. the rafters yep. with my face mask. It's yep. gonna leave a mark, yep. and he might not come back into the game. Guys, yep. protect yourself. It's called football. Football is physical. You're supposed to smack into each other. You're supposed to hit each other. Well, doggone it, I can hit each other now and get right back up, shake it off. These guys are youngsters. They got to get used to smacking their bodies around. Sure. I'm with DP and Buck. <laughs> with power. Buy. Power. Power. Infrastructure. Power. <laughs> Underground. <laughs> Underground. <laughs> Brand. I just wanted to throw DP on the spot on that one. We'll be right back. 93.7. The ticket stop. Put lawn irrigation on automatic. Think Judson Irrigation for worry-free service to Lincoln homeowners and business community. Judson Irrigation will turn on your sprinkler system in the spring, repair or redesign as needed, and turn it off in the fall. For service to orphan sprinklers, remember Judson Irrigation. They'll never forget you. Call the Judson Irrigation Orphanage, 402-420-6277 or judsonirrigation.com. Spring is here. It's time to get back outside and into proper shoes this year. Brown Shoe Fit is the place to buy this spring with their sale on athletic shoes. Get $15 off any regular price athletic shoes with respected brands like Hoka, Brooks, New Balance, and On Running. And don't forget, Brown's carries a large arrangement of sizes and widths to fit your feet properly. Start your spring off right at Brown Shoe Fit, just south of 66 and Q in Lincoln. Shopping for new flooring is different today. Getting your questions answered, making the right selection, getting the best value, and install quickly and professionally. Visit OStreetCarpet.com or shop our store. We'll answer all your questions and help you make the right choice. You'll be enjoying your new floor in just days for less than you'd pay elsewhere. Carpet, vinyl, wood, laminate, tile, and area rugs. We've got it all. Old Street Carpet. 1732 O Street. Family owned and operated. Always the best value. 
Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. NEPCO is hiring CDL drivers for ready mixed concrete, Husker concrete, and Beatrice concrete. NEPCO offers great pay, medical and retirement benefits, paid time off, and they pay for CDL training. Apply today and start your new career with a $2,500 hiring bonus. From NEPCO's beginning in 1908, it's the employees that have formed the company's solid foundation. Start your career today. Visit NEBCOinc.com. That's N E B C O I N C.com. The Omaha Supernovas are back in action this Thursday, April 4th, versus the Columbus Fury at CHI Health Center in Omaha. The Mullen Motors pregame show with Derek Pearson and Renee Saunders starts at 6 p.m. with first serve at 7. Make sure to tune in to the next Ag Appraisal Realty postgame show right after the match ends. Catch all the action on your flagship station, 93.7 The Ticket, and statewide on the Supernovas Radio Network. Where will your path take you, traveler? To seek fortune in a new career? Or on a journey to distant lands for a well-deserved vacation? Wherever you go, one distraction could spell disaster. You can change your fate, adventurer. Don't drive distracted. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. At Southeast Community College, community is our middle name. Our continuing education classes offer personal interest, traffic safety and licensing, online learning, and adult education classes across Southeast Nebraska or online in your own home. Learn pottery or floral design. Take a computer course. Learn Spanish, how to start writing a book, or Air Fryer 101. See the full schedule of continuing education classes online at southeast.edu slash continuing. SCC, your path to possible. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet and fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire, 402-560-6197. I see the future in our public school classrooms every day. I'm Jenny Benson, president of the Nebraska State Education Association. I also see how critically important parent and community support is to our students' success. Support your public schools, get involved, form a business school partnership, or become a school volunteer. Great schools and great communities work hand in hand. Sponsored by the Nebraska State Education Association, aired by the Nebraska Broadcasters Association in this station. Back with Vershawn Jackson, powered by Power, on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Oh, man. Last segment. Fastest two hours in radio. Appreciate you, DP, for sitting in. For Mr. Farley, sitting in for me while I was at practice, it gave me an opportunity to go to practice because they do practice. Yeah, right. A lot of the heat of practice happens, you know, at the end of practice. Yeah. You know, and so... You know, practice starts at 8.30. You know, you got an hour, hour and a half of kind of fluff is what I call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, yeah. going through the motions practice. But defensively, I think, uh, I, of course, he'll always going to show up. Uh, um, we've got to – coach told you that somebody on the other side has got to step up. I didn't necessarily see that. I saw, you know, maybe a couple guys dropping some interceptions that they probably shouldn't have dropped. And those are all things that you want to see in spring – because then you have something to work on. And coachable. You know, you hate to see it, but you want to see it because now you know the guys that you can depend on and the the guys that you can't depend on. Um, linebackers, I thought, you know, I thought uh, Jalen, man, got a dog. Yeah. He's so rangy. He's so tall. Uh, I, I thought him and uh, I tell you somebody else that showed up. And I don't know who it was. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was number 19 
or was it 29? So it was a nine number. Could have been 39. Yes. If it's 29, it's safety. It's Mario Buford, and he's been he's been getting dude. I like great him. reviews, we'll say. I, I like Buford. I think his 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 knack for the ball is a little bit different than everybody else. This is what you talked about, DB. It's when you come out of high school and you a dog, and then you get set with some 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 guys that you got a few dogs, but a lot of the guys are poodles. Mm-hmm. The big dog, it's like my puppy. Oh, by the way, Thor had a son. Yeah, oh, I gotta bring okay, Thor. I'm gonna bring him down. His name is Champ. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, one of one of eight. Puppy sitter. Only one of he's the only one to survive. Puppy sitter. And let me say, for and he he gets his pick of the litter for whichever nipple out of the eight nipples that his mom has. Yeah. He goes from nipple to nipple to nipple, yep. and he's getting all the milk. Yep. So he's extremely he's way bigger. Than what Thor was at the same time. There we go. Okay. Matter of fact, he's eight weeks old and he's bigger than Thor when he was 12 weeks old. Hello. But okay. he acts like he's a big dog. Of course he does. So, so you take a dog, a puppy like him, who has the mentality, he's been trained by his mom. His mom is is she's rules with an iron thumb. I have to tell her, hey, be easy. He's just a puppy. He's your puppy. <laughs> don't don't jump on him too. You're a hundred pounds, mama. If he messes up, take it easy on him. But if the dog is docile, I don't care how big he is, right. because Thor now is a hundred pounds and he's huge, and his son is not afraid of his father, and his father could snap him in one bite. His father's breeding him. His father's now, raising him. Now think about that. He's raising him. No, I can't have him around him like that right now. The, the, the size difference. Aye. One, yeah, but one, in, in, a, in a New York second, his dad can inflict damage that's irre, irreversible. Well, but he knows. I think so, too. He knows. He knows the law. Okay. All right. He knows the Look, we'll look, look we'll I, I, I was raised by a D.C. cop who was six foot three, two hundred and forty five 245 pounds. Sure. And we had that conversation on a regular basis. That's what I'm saying. Not, Not yet. Not yet. And the day that the, the streak ended was a day in our house. Mm. Oh, furniture was moved. See? But he knew when the time was. He said, right. oh, you've you been down there throwing them weights around. Okay. You ready? <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. Like, it, it. it's a thing. He knew. Well, it, they know. And here's the deal. If a dog is, is, he can be big as he wants to. If that little bitty puppy who's super aggressive can punk him out, that's a problem. Yeah. Okay? Because he's coming in fresh out of the world, and he's, he's, he's smacking around a guy who's supposed to be a guard dog. Now, those guys at the University of Nebraska have an opportunity to turn their mindsets backwards and do something different. Mm-hmm. Better start in practice. And I think they need to get some former guys who don't give a bleep yep. at practice, yeah. right? And just talking because there's a mental game that I think is missing. Everybody wants us to, oh, go back to the 90s. You will never go back to the 90s if you don't know what it took for the 90s to happen. Yeah. And and, and I think when they say go back, there's a discipline and an accountability that we're talking yes, about. Sir. We're not talking about, you know, his style of play. No, no, no. The game has changed. It, yes. it, it has evolved. The athletes have evolved. Yes. Right? I mean, I like the joke. I, 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 I I'm supposed to talk. I'm supposed to talk to Georgetown baseball Saturday, and a big part of the conversation and having Zoom called with them was that I'm not sure I could make that team mm. when I was in college. Mm-hmm. Like the athletes look different, they're built different, they move different. Mm-hmm. But I also think I do some things differently that would have given me advantage over today's play. All of that's fair and good. They're both right. But work is required. It's required. There's a there's a there's a word that starts with an I. You know what that is? They say I got too much of it at times. Intensity. Intensity. Yeah. Intensity. My point is that the intensity that you exude can make a mountain move if you show it 150%. If you just kind of go through the motions, man, you can't even well, move well, a little. I, I think there's another uh, yeah. I word that 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 should precede that, which is intention. Mm, yeah. 
Like, if, if my intent, listen, if my intention is that I'm going to win everything, then the intensity has to match. Intensity for the sake of intensity is good. It's reckless often. But intention, what I do with that intensity, mm -hmm. purposeful, that's the old, you know, the Bruce Lee, hey, I can move a brick from an inch away mm. through Please. intention. Sure. <laughs> through intention. Like, that's the thing. So, yeah, I, as I watch spring ball, I get excited because it means we're closer uh, to actual football and that there will actually be a spring game. And this is, this is the group they're moving going forward. But it allows us to talk about and pay attention to what's going on. Show me the intention. Show me the intensity. Okay. IQ and, and, and intention are, are, are the eyes that I, I like to do. We're, we're, we're given, though, as football. But did you ever have that coach who always wanted to demonstrate? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and that was the coach that you remember the most. Uh -huh. right? Well, mine was Reggie Harrison, who, who blocked kicks for the Steelers in the Super Bowl. Uh, for the Steelers. And, and, and he showed you he live show, action. He showed me, he humbled me, and then he elevated me at the same time. That's what needs to happen yeah. out there. They yeah. need to be humbled and yeah. elevated yeah. at yeah. the Reggie same time. Reggie Harrison was my running back coach in high school. But I thought, look, overall, <laughs> guys, it is a great day okay. in Huskerville. I, I, calm down. Yeah. Calm down. The yeah. doctor and the Kalen is in the building. Okay. We'll be okay. All we'll right. be okay. Shout out. Tell Mike Manor. Just the old Carolina Blitz is in the house. Carolina Blitz in the house, Mike Minner. I'm going to call yeah, you Mike Minner. We'll see if we can get you yeah, over here. Yeah, man. Listen, fastest two hours on the radio is all the way. Matter of fact, Mike Minner will be here tomorrow, 10 o'clock. You do not want to miss that. We'll find out why he left Campbell as a head coach. Yeah. What is on the horizon? Why yeah. is he at the University of Nebraska? Yeah, all of that. All of that. And then some when we come back, 93.7. The ticket. See y'all tomorrow. Yeah. Ironhide Construction is hiring. They're looking for hardworking, self-motivated individuals who are team players. Ironhide Construction has openings for an experienced project manager, estimator, apprentice, skilled laborer, and erector or installer. They will train the right people and make sure you understand the position and requirements. At Ironhide Construction, it's own it, be honest, and do it right. Apply today and learn more about their other benefits at ironhideconstruction.com, where they're committed to you every step of the way. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM Firth, 93.7 The Ticket. Go hard wild, barbecue. If the week's been too hectic to even think about dinner or your family can't handle one more night of leftovers, then it's time to let Hog Wild do the cooking. Hog Wild's family packs are one heck of a good deal for a complete barbecue meal loaded with all the smoked meats, tasty sides, buns, and sauces you need to feed your family. Order online at GoHogWild.com. Hog Wild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at 8. The playoff race is heating up and the Lincoln Stars are pushing for their third consecutive postseason berth this spring. Join us at the Icebox as the Stars host the Sioux City Musketeers at 7.05 p.m. on Friday and the Omaha Lancers at 6.05 on Saturday. Friday is FFA and Ag Night, and Saturday is Billet Appreciation Night. Lock in your seats for all the fights, checks, and goals now at LincolnStars.com. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your...